Hey everyone! So I just picked up the Asus Tough A15 2024. This is a laptop that is rocking a Ryzen 7 7435HS, an RTX 4060 with 8GB of VRAM and 32GB of RAM. On paper it's a beast and of course I had to see how it performs in gaming, especially on Linux. I've got it running Cache OS with the Bore LTO kernel plus the left scheduler set to the gaming profile and the extra scheduler set to performance. Basically, it's tuned up for gaming right out of the box. But here is the catch. The first time I fired up a game, the CPU went straight to 93 degrees and the GPU hit 82. I was like, okay, that's not good. I opened it up, cleaned it, reapplied thermal paste, no change, same crazy temps. That's when I found out that these laptops use something called CPU booster. It pushes performance but it also cooks the CPU. After disabling it, temps dropped massively. Now the CPU tops at 76 degrees Celsius and the CPU stays around 70 to 75. Much safer and totally fine for long sessions. Alright, let's check out some games. All of these are running on Cache OS with my gaming tweaks and with graphics setups at high. In the Division 2, I'm getting around 100 to 120 FPS, super smooth. The CPU never goes above 76 degrees and the GPU stays cool too. No stutter, just clean gameplay. Frackpunk. This one flies, 200 to 230 FPS. It feels battery smooth with no frames drops at all. Hunt Showdown. Pretty demanding but still solid. Most of the time it sits around 100 FPS and sometimes it dips briefly to about 83 FPS. But honestly it's so short you don't even notice. Metro Exodus Enhanced Edition. This game looks amazing and runs surprisingly well. With the graphic settings at high and the ray tracing at medium, I averaged around 100 FPS with short dips to 80 FPS. Still totally playable and really impressive for a laptop at 1080p. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. That way you won't miss any of my future videos. So what do I think overall? Honestly, this laptop's way better than I expected. You get portable gaming performance that's reliable especially once you tweak it a bit. With Cache OS, the Bore LTO kernel and the left gaming scheduler setup, it feels tuned for performance and disabling CPU booster made it safe for long sessions. For me, it's the perfect mix Linux gaming on a laptop that just works. 
So yeah, the Asus TUF A15 really surprised me. Strong performance, portable, and now with the temps under control, is built for gaming session without worries. If you found this video useful, don't forget to like, drop a comment, if you tried running Linux on a gaming laptop, and of course subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss the next one. Thanks a lot for watching, keep your laptops cool, keep your games smooth, and I'll see you in the next one.